What's kicking y'all? Quick Panic here, and I'm back with episode number 8 of our Pokemon Soul Silver Randomized Nuzlocke. And if you didn't catch me last time, you'll see that we got a new buddy next to us, a Beetleborg, a big bad one in fact. And I'll just go ahead and show you my team real quick. I got Beetleborg, who we added at, towards the end of last episode. The Heracross, super excited to have this guy. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. Of course, Gen 2 has a bunch of my favorites, so you'll probably hear that a lot. And then we hatched our egg, which is Marie, the Nidorina. And I noticed something kind of weird is that she knows extra sensory, which she normally can't get. But it's because the Togepi that you're normally supposed to hatch out of this egg already gets extra sensory. So that's something to consider, but I'm actually going to pop her into the box so she can chill with Dustbuster. And who else is in there? Viserion. So I added her for the layout, to the layout for no reason, but I just realized that I'm going to be heading down to Slowpoke Well to deal with some dirty old bandits. And I just don't want to use a Nidorina. So we have options for later, just chilling at our computer. But, so last time we ran into Kurt, and I think he ran home. Ooh, another Apricorn. I think he ran home to go chill in his house for a little bit. Right, yeah, he got pushed by the Team Rocket guy, who's a jerk for the record. We're pushing a, a, an old man, poor guy. Did I give him an old man voice? I think I did. Hmm, who are you? Quick, eh? You want me to make some balls? Oof, that's... Might want to watch your words there, buddy. Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Dude, it's like 2017. Yes, I know Team Rocket. Uh, don't worry. I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Yeah, that's right. I destroyed them. Anyway, they're at the well, cutting off Slowpoke Tails for sale. We talked about how that's like super dark. So I'm going to give them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke! Old Kurt is on the way! So he's gonna mess them up before we even get there. Poor girl, did you read that? Grandpa's gone. I'm so lonely. Man, Pokemon, you need to watch out. You're, um, you're, you're saying some things that I don't really think are appropriate, but, you know, I'm not the multi-million, billion dollar company. So Team Rocket Grunt is out of the way. Uh, for... Oh, we didn't heal! Look at poor AJ. He's over here with, like, a broken arm. He needs to death chill in the Pokemon Center for a sec. Do you ever notice in the anime how it's like a hotel? Like, it's so much bigger. And in here, they've got, like, two trees and a fisherman. And... But poor Nurse Joy, she can't even leave. Do you even see anywhere where she can walk out? That, that bugs me. I think it would have been really cool to have a little bit more detail added to the Pokemon Center. They kind of did that a little bit in X and Y and Sun and Moon. I really like how they added the uh, Pokemon Center to the Mart. That was pretty cool, but um, still, still, it's not not being done justice. I, I think that Nurse Joy still cannot leave <laughs> in the uh, in the newer versions. Um, okay, so I'm going to put Sparkums up front because he has Thunder Wave, and we like to paralyze our prey before we catch it. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I'll put I'll put Beetleborg here later. What's up, old man? What happened? Hey there, Quick. The guards up top took off when I shouted at him, but then I took a tumble down the well. You should be dead, for the record. I slammed down hard on my back so I can't move. It's called paralysis. Rats, if I were fit, my Pokemon would have punished them. Ah, it can't be helped. Quick, show them how gutsy you are in my place. That guy, Kurt should be dead, just for the record. Is there? Nope, no items here. Okay, so our encounter for Slowpoke Well is going to be... No! Why? I can't take this again. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this again. We're doing this again. This is redemption. <laughs> what cruel god! Ah. <sighs> They were a little bit better prepared, I guess. I mean, this would still be an excellent addition to the team, but, you know, I'm gonna hit him with some resisted attacks first. I'm just very not excited about this. I'm gonna throw 963 Pokeballs at this guy 
and he's just gonna laugh at me and mock me and shove me in lockers and make me play. Hope you get that movie reference. Okay, you're in the red. You can't move. You're paralyzed. You're a little firebird. How many Pokeballs do I even have? 16. Part of the cards. I'm stubborn though. I'm not gonna run away from this. It's gonna happen. We are owed one flaming bird by this game. We are literally owed it. <laughs> Why? What is even randomized into Moltres that's in the grass out there that's also in this stupid cave? I don't even know, man. Huh. Ah, do you guys see this? Lend me your power. I need you to pull a Goku. And, uh, please, send me your power for this awesome spirit Pokeball we're going to throw at this Moltres. Just shake, just shake, just shake! No! Sorry, this is painful for me. Just like it's painful for you to watch me have a little conniption fit about this Moltres. You are a filthy, dirty bird. Okay, Sparkums has to... Wow, this looks familiar, man. Wow, weird. Uh, I guess I'll put Kraken out there. It was beautiful lure ball. Wing attack me, I dare you. You dumb bird. Oh, man. I want a Zapdos. Like, at least make me cry over a Zapdos. Don't make me cry over this four times weak to rock bird. He's literally hot garbage. Literally. Like, he's hot. And also, he's kind of garbage. But we need... I'm just going to diss him because I know he already had zero plans to jump into this Pokeball and join his team. He's here to eat, like, $3,000 worth of Pokeballs. And we're, we're going to throw the lure ball just to, just like add insult to injury. What? No way! Dude, I was so prepared to not have this guy. <laughs> yes! This legendary bird is said to bring early spring to the wintry lands it visits. No kidding, man. I was cold and lonely, and I got my buddy Moltres here. Guys, I'm, I'm actually really in shock. This is crazy. Um, what? What is your name? I, you know what? Your name is Redemption. That was a redemption catch. And your name is definitely <laughs> Redemption. How do you even spell redemption? Oh my gosh, I promise I'm not this stupid. It's like, redemption? No, I was spelling it right! Now I look stupid for second guessing myself. Redem... Uh, that just looks funny to me. I don't know. Sorry, sorry, spelling's not my strong suit. I'm gonna blame it. Oh, just enough leathers. Redemption. That looks right. Like, who would have guessed that? Seriously. I would have never guessed that I was going to catch Moltres after getting destroyed in a Pokeball, alright? Like, I know he's level 5, but his catch rate is still the same, regardless of his level, I'm pretty sure. No, level definitely affects it, but still, his his capture rate is still pretty ridiculous. You saw how many balls I wasted on him. Don't mind me, just walking through town with my buddy Redemption, burning the place to the ground. I'm sorry about all the smack that I talked against him. I am so sorry. Let's, um... Man, that's exciting. Well, let's see what he looks like flying behind me. Yeah! Look at him! Ha <laughs> ha! Don't mind me. Walking through this Pokemon Center with a legendary bird. I've got one badge. Ha <laughs> ha! Man. Cool. I'm a fan. Like, if I were a Pokemon, I'd be a Rotom fan. 
for sure. Okay, I, I mean, I can't complain. I don't know why I have redemption out. First, we need to... Uh, we need to put Beetleborg up front to get him a couple levels first. We have a, uh, a lucky egg somewhere. Who is it? Who's holding it? Uh, wasn't Kraken, was it AJ? Yes. He's good for a sec. Uh, take, thanks. Oh, man, I don't mean sight, I don't mean summary. Sight him, sight him. Give lucky egg. Guys, this, I don't care what happens this episode. We are bringing home the bacon. Look at us, we're professionals. <laughs> I was standing guard up top when some old coot yelled at me. He startled me so much that I fell down here. How about I vent my anger and take it out on you? Like, who is falling down wells and is just fine? That well looks pretty steep. Just just putting that out there, just saying, Hey, Nitto Queen, how you doing? You, you, my friend, uh, you're going down to... Who's taking you out? Kraken. Kraken coming out here. I still love Kraken. This team is like... This team is kind of beautiful. I like it so far. It's pretty well-rounded. Um, Water Gun is going to do the same as Aurora Beam. Whatever. I forgot that my poor little octopus squid man is super slow. He's got like 27 feet and he's still slower than a Metapod. I don't know that for sure. Somebody check my stats. Not 100% sure there. Beetleborg got his le two levels. Six. What? He got three levels. Oh, I need to check and see if I can give Megahorn. Remember I got that TM Megahorn? Earlier, I need to see if I can give it to him. How, what level is this vile plume? In before I lose redemption immediately. It's level nine. I feel like I can just like live any one thing. Um, wing attack's gonna be stronger. Pretty sure attack and special attack are similar on Moltres. Okay, nope, I'm already scared. We're pulling out. Nope, 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 nope. All of my nope. 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 Uh, who goes out there? Beetleborg isn't strong enough yet. Um, let's go Drogon. Get my dragon out here. Get some Dracarys action. He needs to learn Ember soon. Well, I mean, I guess he does need to learn Ember soon. Oh, look at it. She was scaring me for nothing. He, I'm sorry. You are a funny looking lady. Man. You're a lady. Dude looks like a lady. All right, that's all I'm saying. Bye, Valpo. Redemption grew to level six. Um, I don't think I have antidotes or anything like that. We're not losing redemption to poison. What, what, what are you... You're at 21. We'll be fine. Uh, but we're definitely going straight to the Pokemon Center. That's still terrifying. Still terrifying. I'm so glad they took this part out of the newer games. Because... Yeah, that, that was really irritating that you lost health out of battle. So there, there isn't really a huge difference between poison and burn now in battle, other than the fact that burn is way better because it halves the attack of the Pokemon. All right, let's go, Beetleborg. Big Bad Beetleborgs. I hope you guys did some research and checked out Big Bad Beetleborgs because that show is actually the absolute truth. I was talking about it with one of my buddies today and it just got me so reminiscent. All right, Beetleborg, let's go. There's items in, there's gotta be an item somewhere around here, a hidden one, like this, this rock. Nope, I meant this rock. Nope, I meant this rock. Nope, I meant this item. Rose incense. I don't even know what that does. Pretty sure it's hot, hot trash. Unlike redemption. Stop taking poke. Stop taking slowpoke tails. What? You want us to disobey a direct order from Executive Proton? If you want to stop us, you'll have to defeat us all. Go ahead and try. I don't have to try, because I'm packing an absolutely beautiful team. You're just a grunt with a Gardevoir. Okay, I'm part fighting, so we are definitely noping out of here. Just all of my nope. Oh, wait. You're not fairy yet, so I can definitely go into Drogon. Scared for a sec. Fairy doesn't exist. We're in the past. 
What are you gonna confuse me? Teleport? Confused. Okay. As long as you don't, as long as you don't uh, moonblast me, which is impossible. But Drogon, just go ahead and chomp on this Gardevoir's head. Bye, bye. And it's a crit. Yes, sir. Ma'am, whatever you were. No, no. Gardevoir has always confused me. Another level, getting Fury Attack. Guys, you did not remind me to check up on that. Uh, I'm pretty sure Fury Attack's better than Tackle. When I have Horn Attack? Like, yeah, anyway. Um, you did not remind me to check if Mega Horn can be taught. Cloyster. Um, Cloyster versus Sparkums. It's Sparkums out here. He's got to wave to us at least once every episode. Hey, hey buddy, hey guys. My name's Barkums, and I'm awesome. True, that was his That was his voice. My mouth was moving, but that was him, for sure. Hi, Cloyster. Cloyster, oh, okay. Cloyster has some terrible, absolutely terrible special defense. So I'm surprised I didn't take him out. But Sparkums is really setting the, uh, setting the bar pretty low with his special attack, so. I don't know what I was expecting. We need to find him a Thunderstone. Just rub it on his forehead until he turns into something good. That was a lot of experience. You run, brat! Maybe. Maybe. Okay, there is a hidden item down here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Pachirisu! So, I don't know if you guys watch VGC, but uh, there is a Pachirisu that was used on a Worlds team. It was either... Two years ago? Was it two years ago? Probably two years ago. And uh, it just saved the world. Amulet coin, again. Um, it just saved the world by using follow me and it allowed the, uh, the user to go ahead and win worlds. Crazy. There was some really cool fan art. Um, I mean, this can go on you cause you're going in and out of battle for sure. We're going to have all the money. I mean, we're just finding, am there must've been a Meowth who just went to town over here. These slow pokes don't have tails. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's just how the sprite works. Quit taking slow- Why is everybody asking me? Yes, this is what I'm saying. If we listen to you, Team Rocket's rep would be ruined. It's already pretty bad. Like, honestly, not not that great. Sharpedo! There's lots of Sharpedos just walking around like they own the town. Do you have rough skin? Probably. Uh, so we don't use Furry Attack. <laughs> Fury Attack. Uh, let's just go Sparkums. Hey! Hey, buddy! Hey, friend! Hey, friendo! Can we zap this guy to Oblivion? Just Thundershock. Cook him up. Treat him like Jaws. Explode a tank in his mouth. That's how you defeat a Sharpedo. Beetleborg's level 8! I keep skipping past that because it doesn't make a sound. It's weird. Double team. Yo, we might get to the point where we need to, but I don't have a move on or delete for that, so. Uh, go ahead and give up on double team, bro. Smooch him! Okay. Redemption can take out a smooch him. Get out here. My big flaming ball of beauty. Aw. Oh, my name's Smooch him and I like kisses. You're adorable, Smooch him. Burn! Oh. You're level 9. I was like, why didn't I take him out? That's still two shot of Pokemon that's 50% higher. Oh, your XP bar moves slow. Those stats are pretty good. I like how they're looking Golbat. Um, Drogon needs to catch up. Let's send him out. Drogon, let's go. I like Golbat Sprite in this. I, I just love 2D sprites, though, I think. A little bit biased. We're a little bit over in the levels department, but it's a randomizer. So, I'm not trying to lose. I haven't done anything sketchy or anything. I haven't... Uh, I mean, we had that one lucky egg, but it's not really doing too much. It's helping Heracross or Beetleboard catch up. I'm going to switch between the nickname and the actual name of the Pokemon and just all the time get over it just too strong that's right i am been hitting the gym bro a slow poke with its tail cut off it has mail 
I never noticed this, really. Quick read the mail. Be good and look after the house with Grandpa and Slowpoke. Love, Dad. That is heartbreaking! What about you? Okay. Oh, man. I wasn't ready for the feels. I was not ready. Bag. Uh, I think Sparkums needs... A dose of the potion, I believe? Uh, he's only missing 12, but... We're playing a randomizer. Oh, okay. Okay, I didn't want to read that again. I'm sorry. I want to see if I can teach Megahorn. <laughs> Drogon and Redemption can learn Megahorn, but not Beetleborg. I don't remember what TM that is. 51? No clue. I don't want to use Megahorn on either of them. Um, but I should teach Rock, Rock Smash. I know Sparkums already knows it, but we can just move Deleter it later. And Beetleborg definitely should know Rock Smash. Uh, because it's Stab for him. Um, we'll just delete the Fury Attack we just got. I can't imagine a point where we'd need that over Horn Attack. Alright! Well, what do we got? Is this Proton? What, what kind of voice are you rocking, bro? Um, what, 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 what do we have here, Morty? I I'm often labeled as the scariest and cruelest guy in Team Rocket. I strongly urge you not to interfere with our business. Look at you. You are, I mean, you're pretty for Team Rocket. Just saying. Like, you don't look bad. I'm not hitting on you or anything. I'm just saying, like, you look good for a dude. Um, slow bro might no confusion. So let's go into who can hurt you. I don't want to just go into Sparkums all the time, but Drogon can hit you super effective. So let's do that. Curse, he's setting up on us! If this guy knows Ice Beam, we're done. Like, we're just absolutely done. But, I have a sneaking suspicion that since he doesn't learn it by level up, he doesn't know it by level 8. This guy, he got too greedy. Look at him. He's trying to set up on me, and he doesn't realize that he's going to be dead. Just eat him. Bye. How ironic that Team Rocket has a slow bro while they're trying to eat all their tails. Which is sick, and I don't condone it. Bass. Wow, bro. You're scary. You better send out Beetleborg. He's like, what's up, bro? They call me the Beetleborg. It, it doesn't always matter where we go. Blah, 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 blah. Something. My liver. Sorry, I went by too fast. Splash? Is this a joke? This is your ace? This is your ace in the hole? Are you serious? Something about messing with my plans? I want to do the voices for those, but they disappear without me, like, saying anything. Sorry, no Pokemon today. Rocking with Alien. I love collectible glasses, if you can't tell by my vast collection of them. For a kid to be this good, I, I, I didn't see it coming. 480 bucks, I got more from a grunt, rude. Hmm. <laughs> T Team Rocket w was indeed broken up th three years ago, but we continued our activities underground. <clears throat> a, a small obstacle like you won't be much of a problem for our mission. I advise you come to be very afraid of what it is to come. I'm actually not afraid. I'm actually more afraid of these poor... Like, what are they going to do with these slow pokes? Like, you can't adopt these guys out. W way to go, Quick. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better, too. You fell down a well. How are you alive? How is your back already better? Like, what? Let's get out of here. And the slow pokes? They're just down there forever. And then all of a sudden, she has a slow poke with a tail. Did we glue it back on? We're just like, nope, that's good. Looks good. You'll be fine, slow poke. Hi, Quick. You handled yourself like a real hero. As I mentioned before, Team Rocket was disbanded by a bulk boy. <laughs> Getting, getting a little ahead of myself. Gold Red, three years ago. Now that they've come back, I have a bad feeling about it. In any case, it would please me greatly to make Pokemon Balls for a trainer like you, Quick. 
This is all I have now, but take it. Obtain the fast ball! You have apricorns for me? Fine! I'll turn them into Pokeballs. Uh, we got lots of green, but that's fast. This is heavy. Um, what am I concerned with? Let's... Oh, this is lure, probably. Man, I wish you would tell me what I'm getting. Whatever, we'll get heavy balls. Okay, why is no the default answer? That's silly. It'll take a day to make you a Pokeball. Come back for it later. That's right. I'll give you my grandpa's phone number. I guess. I, I want to know when my Pokeballs are done. Quick registered cat! My grandpa can tell you more about Apricorns. What happened to the sad little girl? She's just happy to have her Slowpoke? Yawn? Huh. Well, that's interesting. Um, I think we can move on a little bit. Oh, we have, uh, we have a gym to take on. Let's get the trainers out of the way. We're almost, we're almost at about half an hour for this episode. So let's take on some gym trainers. See if we can get Beetleborg playing with the big boys. Um, what about, let's see. So everybody's doing pretty well. AJ's falling a little bit behind just because he's absolute garbage. Sorry, AJ, I love you. Like, I literally love the Pokemon that you are, but... You are not that great. So let's lead with... Should we stock up on some stuff? We should stock up on some stuff. I think we have like five and five on potions. Um, let's get some regular... Wait. Yeah, we'll get some regular potions. And we'll get five Pokeballs. Because we have an encounter coming up. We'll have to do this gym first. So encounter will have to wait till next episode... Get out of my way, old man! Look at all that slow pokes. They're just happy to be alive now. We just... I guess we just glued or stapled their tails back on. Yeah, Challenger! Bugsy made this gym. It's a huge nest of bug-type Pokemon. Bugsy's young, but he's a master of bug-type Pokemon. It's gonna be tough without my advice. Let's see. Bug-type Pokemon... They don't like fire, I think? Flying-type. Look, look who I have. I literally have a Moltres. Why do you think I'm not going to do well? He literally only has fire and flying. So, flying moves are super effective, too. Old boy. Oh, that's right. I remember this gym now. So I have to, like, pull some levers. Oh, okay. I, I literally don't understand how that works, but whatever. Uh, what you doing, guy? Bug Pokemon evolve young. So they get stronger that much faster. Calm down, Weevil. Calm down. Your bugs aren't that great. I take back everything. I take back literally everything. Okay, it's gonna be fine. Nobody panic. Everybody calm down. It's gonna be good. Sparkums is gonna come out. Slap him around a little bit. We're gonna call it a day. And even though Sweepum got bite, if we're being honest. You were loving levels higher. How did this happen? What did I do? I'm sorry. I guess it's probably supposed to be like a Caterpie or something. And then the rest will be more evolved Pokemon or something? Maybe? We'll find out. Bye. Redemption grew to level 8 and learned Fire Spin. It's an awful move, but... Okay, Snubble. Come on. Come on. Are you even trying? Uh, let's give that one to Beetleborg so he can Rock Smash it since Snubble is not fairy type yet. I'm gonna speed up a little bit. There we go. Snubble! I'm not intimidated by you. I don't care what the game says. All right. I guess we're just playing No Attack Beetleboard, the game. Rated K for Quick Panic. That's literally doing nothing now. Do you even have attacks, man? Or are you just setting up for the next Pokemon? Because I'm switching out. Like, all that was pointless. Beetleborg is going to hit level 10. Yeah. Catching up. That attack stat is pretty impressive. Marie. Let's go to AJ. I don't think Marie can even do anything to AJ. I think it just starts with Thundershock. Look at you all happy. I love Marie. 
I've been, I like spent the entire week trying to catch um, reefs in Pokemon Go, and by catch I mean hatch, because there's an event going on right now where you have a higher chance to hatch Mareep and Larvitar and Chansey. But Mareep is actually super hard to find in the game. Of course, I got paralyzed without this event. So I finally got an Ampharos in Pokemon Go. It's been a long time. Just evolving is enough! I mean, I could have told you that. We're literally paralyzed. I'm not paralyzed, but I seem to be struck by you. Um... I mean, maybe I didn't have to go this way. Maybe I have... Are we going to finally use the cookie? Yep, we're using the cookie because we're lazy. AJ became healthy. That's good. Okay, we'll get back on here. I just wanted to ride it twice. Give Redemption some airtime. Make sure everybody knows I'm in here with a legendary bird that's literally super effective against all their Pokemon, except none of them play bug Pokemon. Uh, pull this. Okay. Well, what if I wanted to battle this guy over here? Uh, I think the middle one goes to nothing. That's what it looks like? I don't I don't even know how I'm supposed to look at this and just judge. Nope. Nope. I was wrong. Okay, middle one. Middle one goes to our, our other Weevil guy. These are all Weevil. Literally all of them are Weevil. Even though they're playing with Pokemon like Suicune. Like, how, none of this makes sense. Like, the slanty ones go... I don't know. Whatever. You've come all this way, crossing the web like a bug Pokemon. Allow me to teach you the charms of bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon, bug Pokemon, bug Pokemon. I get it. You use bugs. Holy hell, dude. Calm down. Just literally chill out. Ugh. Man, why is everybody so serious? This is gym number two! Literally calm down. Literally. Oh my gosh. Okay, at least you have Peck. Probably have Thundershock. I mean, I had Ember. It's okay. It's fine. It'll be all right. There we go. Get out of here, dude. I'm. I don't have time for Thor. That. I mean, that's what I. That's why I nickname all my Zapdos and VGC and stuff. Literally, don't have time for him. Redemption's growing levels. That's good. Drowsy. Okay, that's more my speed. Like, stop scaring me with things that can actually kill my stuff. Rousy. I think we can take you on. I think my attack is a little bit higher than my special attack? I don't remember. They might have been almost exact. Okay. They might have been almost exactly even. Here comes the Dream Eater. Pound. Pound. Like, what was the point of making so many normal moves? Like, pound, tackle, scratch... I guess it makes sense. But they're all, like... I don't know. They're all basically the same thing. So you give Drowsy a worse starting move than, like, any Pokemon that gets tackled. Weird. I know that, like, some Pokemon, it doesn't make sense for them to tackle. And some of them, it doesn't make sense for them to scratch. Whatever. I get it. I get it. It just seems redundant. Alright. Now, back on track. I know we're going a little long today. But... That's okay. I was in a Pokemon recording mood. I'm actually recording this on a day that I normally don't. But I was playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! today. And uh, I remembered why I've been taking a break from Yu-Gi-Oh! for a little bit. And I just wanted to play some Pokemon. You saved all those Slowpoke? Woo! You're mighty. But my grown-up Pokemon are pretty tough too. I mean, I don't doubt you at this point. Like, you guys are all just... I mean, Polyrath, that's a good Pokemon. Redemption can't even stay in against this. But. But. 
You know who's Psybeam? You know who has Psybeam? Release the Kraken! You can't double slap me. Oh. I fat fingered it. That's how confident I am. Until he has water absorbed. Ha! Ha! I predicted it and everything. That's okay. I'm just trying to help this guy out. Blow bubbles in my face. I don't care. That's fine. Those weren't even good bubbles. Those are bad. Those are terrible bubbles. Look at that. Look. Look. I'm not scared of you, Polyrath. You're not even a Suicune. I faced Suicunes and Zapdos already today. Redemption's level 10. Everybody's crack cracking up. Cracking up. Catching up. Okay. Hop back on the Spinner Rack Mobile. So now we're going to hit this. And it's going to take us over to somebody, maybe. It's going to take us on the red one. We're going to have to fight the twins. Oh, it's a double battle. Oh, boy. Come play with us, mister. Forever and ever and ever. Sorry, it just reminds me of The Shining. Chimeco and Munchlax. This... This matchup was made for Beetleborg and Redemption. I don't think Chimetko is going to be one-shotting Beetleborg with a confusion. But, just in case, we are going to double up on Chimetko. Pretty sure he has awful defense. Uh, I don't know, I may have spoke too soon. Oh, well, he's using Growl anyway, because he's dumb as a sack of bricks. Literally, bricks and he have the same IQ. I think we can tackle, take that guy out, and then I can start rock smashing. Poor little Munchlax, he just wants a snack. But here he is. He he brought this upon himself, if we're being honest. Level 11 for Beetleborg. Tackle. Don't touch Redemption. Don't touch Redemption. I know I was, like, hating on Redemption. I don't know why I went there. Uh, but actually, I mean, I didn't expect to catch Redemption. That, that was actually crazy. That was insane. I know we got growled. I don't know. It's still wing attacking. Level 11 for redemption! Okay, special attack is better. Forever and ever and ever. That's what they said. Oh, no! I got too caught up. And now we need to go back over to that lever. Awkward! That, I mean, this whole episode, I just wanted you to watch me ride a spin rack. That was the point. That was that was the whole goal for this episode was to ride spin rack as many times as possible. And okay, cool, cool, cool. Now we can pull this. Now the red rope is gonna get less tight. I don't I don't know how this works. But we're right here in front of Bugsy. And I ran too long. But that's all we got for today, I think. Alright, trying to Okay, perfect. So like I said, that's all I got for today. Hope you're enjoying the series. I'm enjoying doing it. So if you like it as much as I do, please leave a like down below or leave a comment. I love talking with you guys. Every time you leave a comment, it makes my day. But also subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of quality content. But uh, anytime I upload a new video, it's going to be a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. I'm thinking about bringing some Smogon battles sporadically. It wouldn't be like a scheduled thing. But if you're interested in content like that, let me know. But I'll be on Twitch this weekend on Sunday, and I'm going to start doing Overwatch on Sundays and Thursdays. I used to do Thursdays again. Um, used to do Thursdays again. Used to do Thursdays. I would like to do it again. So catch me over at www.twitch.tv slash quickpanic, and I'll see you over there. So that's all I got for today. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Later!